Good, good morning. Um, today I want to talk about a, a series of books and monographs uh, that I recently received from um, a friend in New York. Actually, two, they're, they concern the Paul Rosenfels community and the Ninth Street Center, which I attended in the 1970s when I was living in Manhattan. And um, I'll go run through them. I actually have a blog post about them, and I'll give you the link to it right there and there's a picture of the street front of it and um, there's some other pictures on there that's the entrance and so forth and some other and a discussion in detail of the of the books but um actually i've had the main book was homosexuality the cre the psychology of the creative process um, by paul rosenfels himself in 1972 and that's where he lay out his theory about polarity and the idea that all most human beings have character specialization of either masculine or feminine and that does not have to correspond to their biological sex and it really isn't quite the same thing as gender identity today although somebody might think it is because this is purely for personal growth and your own you know you lead your life externally the way you normally would this is purely your own personal growth and your own friends um, it isn't for external changes. It doesn't require. It has nothing to do with being trans or, or non-binary or anything. It's it's an inner identity, not not something that's be that is for how you're known publicly. Um, there was his companion Dean Hannett actually wrote the book New, We Knew Paul um, in the 1973 Christopher Street Liberation Day March. I'm actually marching that with that group. I don't seem to be in that picture, but let me through. Let me run through the, some of the Ninth Street Center monographs. Um, the most interesting one to me is subjectivity and objectivity: further aspects of so, so psychological growth, and that posits that um, un, and people can be objective or subjective, balanced or unbalanced personalities. You can be feminine, subjective, feminine, objective, and the same with masculine. And again, it's for inner growth only. Then The Nature of Civilization, which is a very more general book, a psychological analysis. I know that I called my little booklet a fundamental, or fundamental rights, a psychological approach, so this is a psychological analysis. The, na the Nature of Psychological Maturity, which sounds a lot like personal agency or personal sovereignty or personal autonomy. Um, where you can make your own decisions apart from whether you belong, even belong to a tribe or a group, where you can make your decisions for yourself. Although that's a little bit of a that's a little bit of a dicey concept, actually. But um, the relationship of the adaptation of fun and pleasure to psychological growth. Well, we know now that some activists make a lot of early play of children and gender identity but it had nothing really to do with that this is really for adults um psychic exhaustion and the growth process um that was one of the more controversial ones um then he gets he has an autobiograph autobiography a renegade psychiatrist story about how he was a therapist he was married heterosexually and lived in los angeles and chicago and then had and then he started exploring his own homosexual feelings and he lived with several people including one person a couple had been patients of his one had actually been a prisoner but he was quite open to living you know and living very modestly on very little and living with other you know other people creatively then he has a couple of books that are more like texts um freud and the scientific method which you know freud's theory about in homosexuality and and edible the edible theories and all these things and it's actually the whole idea of might makes right comes into his writing which is very disturbing he talks about that and then two letters to his companion dean hannah the second one there's one is long and one is short and the second one actually talks about secondary gender characteristics or sex which might be secondary sex characteristics which is a little different which is a subject that has mattered to me and which I actually talked about that to him one time. I wonder if that kind of stuck in his mind. But that's the last of the eight books. But again, I'll post the location for this um, 
I'll post the location for this blog post and you can read more about it. You can order the books on Amazon. Um, they're very inexpensive. I think that they're, most of them are $3.95 each, the monographs. The books, the two books are a little more. And Or you could contact me you know, through my website if you wanted to because I have a few copies. So that's it for this morning and thank you for listening.